25. Marlon Chito Vera still just 27, despite the wealth of UFC experience. O'Malley's got three inches in height, an inch and a half in reach. All right, to get us started for the co-main event, we turn it back over to Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the co-main event of the evening. Brought to you by Nemiroff, bold character since 1872. And Modelo, root for those with a fighting spirit. And now, this fight is three rounds in the UFC bantamweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a big martial artist holding a professional record. 15 wins, six losses, one draw. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 136 pounds. Fighting at a Chony Manabi, Ecuador, Marlon Chito Vera. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, an undefeated mixed martial artist holding a perfect professional record. 12 wins, no losses. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 136 pounds. Fighting out of Glendale, Arizona, Sugar Sean O'Malley. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. Good seat tonight for the veteran referee, Herb Dean. Brittany Palmer getting us started. <laughs> Three rounds and 15 minutes if needed here in the UFC's Ray, Ray, loaded Ray. Bantamweight division. Tonight's fight clock is brought to you by Modelo, brewed for those with a fighting spirit. Chito Vera is in blue. Sean O'Malley is in green. Closer. Here we go. Ooh, heavy low kick. O'Malley will switch stances and if you saw him move around, you would believe that he started out with a traditional martial arts background. That's not the case. He learned these skills as he learned MMA. And those fakes right there, the fakes, and then he adds the push kick up the middle. Those keep you at a distance and they keep you guessing when he's gonna come and go. That two year layoff, he really dedicated himself to grappling and fell in love with that part of the game. Hasn't had to lean on that too much of late. He starts with those push kicks, he attacks your knees, he attacks your legs, gets you chasing him, and then he attacks you with the left hand once you start running in. Marlon trying to find his range here, has been caught with two heavy low kicks so far. The stance switch of Marlon is gonna help a lot with that low kick right there. He's gonna have to start switching more often just like that because Sugar's already found that low kick. And those are heavy shots. Shape Your Legend in EA Sports UFC 4, available now. Oh, every time he turns orthodox. Right now, the real issue for Vera is he's, he's biting on the fakes of O'Malley really heavy. Yeah. You see that? Every time O'Malley fakes something, he moves back. And so usually you see Vera walk right into those. And that's a difference, in hes that's a hesitancy that you're seeing. Well, it's also because he's been stung a, a few times with those kicks. Those teep kicks and the low kicks. I mean, mm -hmm. everything adds up. These guys are so long in their lower halves, Joe. We, we do measure leg reach right now on both of these guys from hip to foot have a longer leg reach than Stipe Miocic, the heavyweight champion. What? How's that possible? <laughs> a lot of torso, I guess. That's ridiculous. <laughs> Look at their legs. I know, but still. <laughs> <laughs> nice Beautiful. high kick. Yes. He faked the low and went high. Chito's got a few knockouts with that kick that you just saw. Now you're seeing Vera not bite as much on the fakes as, as he did early on. He's starting to get the reads and adjustments to O'Malley as the fight moves on. Well, this is absolutely the most experienced guy 
Something's wrong with O'Malley's leg. I don't know what happened. I really don't know. I think he blew his knee out. He rolled something when he moved backwards early on. And now Cheeto recognizes it, and he's moving towards him. And this happened to him in another fight as well. He hurt his knee in another fight, Sean. It was the Terry Ware fight, right? Yeah, he broke his foot now, and that's what it was. And it looks like the similar thing has happened here. That's Something's the, wrong. That's the bad sure. part about throwing those kicks. Your feet can break, too. Mm -hmm. Actually, I think it might have been the Andre Sukumtot fight, but that's neither here nor there. We'll see in between rounds if O'Malley has anything to say about it. Strong low kick there by Vera. And Sean? He's not moving too bad, considering there's something wrong with his right leg. No, he's moving very limited <laughs> when you watch his fights. And he can see, he looked up at the clock right now, too. He's got a minute left. He's trying to figure it out. He's still got to be careful, because that right hand of his is powerful. So Cheeto's taking his time. But yeah, you see the limp there? Yeah, at times. He's hiding it. He's trying to hide it. There's the right hand he was looking for it there. Lands it. I guess you got to just hope maybe for Sean that it's a nerve issue that could recover. Yeah, we'll hear up. Oh, he fell down. We'll hear about it in the corner if he gets there. Oh! Huge elbow from oh, Sean. Oh, what a nice shot. Wow. Wow. Marlon wow. Chito Guerra stops the Sugar Show in round one. Oh, my goodness. Incredible. Oh, my goodness. Interesting stoppage. Crazy stoppage. It was quick. I mean, it was quick. It was, he was hurt though. I mean, if you he look at his foot, the ref, he was clearly down a limb and the judge wanted to be part of that to, 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 or excuse me, the ref wanted to make sure that the fighter was safe because of the foot. Come on. Congratulations. Come down. The Cheeto show, he says. <laughs> stop, stop, hold on, wait a minute. Nobody wants to see a fighter get hurt. In the middle of the fight, no. you know, no, nobody no, wants to see it. Not at all. But I want you to come in here. That was a, him, but a tremendous gonna, shot okay. by Cheeto Vera as well. Yeah. There was the injury, but there was also a big elbow by Vera. Well, you can't take anything away from from Cheeto. I mean, he created the injury in exactly. the fight. We don't know what happened. We'll find out what happened. We'll see if we can see it. It Ooh. looked like right there it yeah. turned over. Well, he tried to put his weight on okay, it, and this it wasn't is, there. Yeah, this is when he was already injured, correct? Yeah, correct, okay. yes. Now, here's the elbow. Okay, there's a left hand, but there's a, a big elbow as well, right? Yep, right here. Here big. it is. Ooh, boom. That's the one I mean, that puts him out a little bit. That one puts him in real trouble. Boom, right there. Boom, boom. So, interesting stoppage, right? Because yeah. would he have done that if it wasn't obvious there was something wrong with his leg? Right. Well, I mean, he might have, but we haven't seen that from this particular... So Referee. look at this weird ah, step. Oh, that's there how you it break goes. your foot right, right. there. That's but, how you break it. But was that because of something before that that deadened the nerves? Could be. Could be. You just We're gonna don't have know. to we'll have to ask him. You yeah, get to because ask him look, in a minute. That that reminds me of Michael Chandler. It reminds me of we saw that in the second fight with uh, Henry Cejudo and Mighty Mouse. He ain't no calf kicks though, so there wasn't right. a reason to do that. But he had that injury in a past fight, so mm. was that just reoccurring in camp? And he brought it into the fight. Was he healthy? We don't know. He'll explain it, I'm sure, to you though. Was it the same leg? Yeah. Who knows? Well, unfortunately, I can't get in there, and I'm going to interview Cheeto. We might be able to corral O'Malley for you, potentially, Joe. Those fight replays were brought to you by Nemiroff Bold Character since 1872. Don't be now. Either say way. Say it again. Say it one. <laughs> I dare you. <laughs> I'm coming for anybody in the top 10, top 15. All right, the yeah, official decision. I'm and sorry to cut you off, Cheeto, is brought to you by Guaranteed Rate. You could save massive money on your mortgage with the incredibly low rates from Guaranteed Rate. Act now by visiting rate.com. To make this official, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 40 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by TKO, Marlon Chito Vera. It has been an incredible.